Now we come to the uh, really exciting part of, you know, the Super Bowl, talking about what so many people watch the Super Bowl for, and that's the uh, ads. Uh, these years, this year's ads, I didn't, there wasn't really anything that I thought was super exciting or would be, like, remembered for years to come. Uh, not that there weren't good ads. I like the um, Snickers one. They do the thing where every year where they get some celebrity does a cameo, and it turns out all they need to do is have a Snickers bar, and they turn back into some normal person. This year they went with uh, William Defoe. <laughs> you see it start up. He's in a Marilyn Monroe dress, and they're recreating the scene with the the air vent that lifts up her dress, and he's all being all pissy. I was like, why would a woman, why would a human put a girl in this position? Why would they do it? And then he has a Snickers bar and turns into Marilyn Monroe. That was funny. Uh, was it T-Mobile? The T-Mobile app where they're uh, spoofing the Verizon one with the balls going down the, the what, slope or whatever the hell it is, and all of a sudden Steve Harvey Trump jumps in there and goes, no, this isn't right. As you can see, uh, T-Mobile won it. I thought that was funny with Steve Harvey. Uh, the Prius ads where people, they had these criminals and they were escaping the cops because they were driving a Prius. That was funny. And of course, when they followed up with a police car that is a Prius, being able to chase after them. That was nice, but like I said, most aren't that memorable. Um, <laughs> there was one that I think uh, topped uh, last year's uh, Nationwide commercial. If you remember the Nationwide commercial with the little boy who turned out to be dead the whole time? And it was just like, oh, what the hell was that? Did we just watch? I think the... <laughs> And it fell, did it, this year, where they had children singing about their conception. The uh, Super Bowl babies, how the team that wins a Super Bowl, they see a spike nine months later in birth rates because their parents are getting it on, celebrating you know, their team winning the Super Bowl. So they had these kids singing about it, talking about how they love the Super Bowl because they exist because of it. And it was like, you're, you're having children singing about their parents. You're fucking. It's like, what? And uh, that's what I thought of the uh, Super Bowl ads this year. Hopefully next year will be better. Oh, there was one, the Dorito one. That was a funny one. I can't believe I forgot that with the, uh, <laughs> the, the ultrasound. And mother's getting an ultrasound. Father's eating Doritos. And they see the baby moves every time the father uh, has the Dorito next to it. And then the father's playing with it. And, like, he... Does the whole dog go fetch thing and the baby shoots out? <laughs> Ooh, that looked painful. That was funny, but like I said, I don't think we're gonna remember it from years to come. And like I said, hopefully next year's ads will be better.